this is the first video of this series uh, in this video we are going to see how to download the KiCad and install it installing the KiCad and then the basic operation of the KiCad software to begin the downloading process I just going to click on the browser you can use any browser and then make a Google search for KiCad and you can see after typing the KiCad in the Google search you can get the website and in that click on the download if you click on the download it will show different operating system for uh, uh, to use with this KiCad and then I'm going to select the Windows because I'm using Windows OS uh, suppose if you are really using Linux or uh, Apple you can go for it I just click this Windows and then uh, a download file or a download website is opened here and my operating system is like 64 bit so my processor is processor is 64 bit and then I'm going to use this 64 bit and then you can see uh, you can click on the github and it will ask uh, where to save this software and I'm going to save it on my folder and you can see the file is uh, 1.1 1. 1. 1 GB so approximately it will take like uh, 15 to 20 minutes if you're having a medium speed of internet so let me wait for the download I mean download complete then and then we will see how to install it so you, uh, you can see that uh, the download is completed I'm going to just wait for another few seconds and then I'm going to see in the folder where it is downloaded so the KiCad 8.0.1 is download, downloaded uh, it is the latest update uh, that we got from KiCad website just double click this and then click next so I'm going to select for anyone who use this computer if you are using the personal laptop or computer you can use this and then click next click on the install So installation is done and then uh, we can start the KiCad now, click finish. So by default you can see this is the view we will get. Because I already installed uh, KiCad, it is showing the existing file and then always make sure that you are closing the project. before starting a new project in your case if you are using installing first time uh, KiCad you will get the blank screen like this and uh, to start to start uh, the 
actual project you can click on this file and then click on new project and you can choose your appropriate folder where you want to uh, save your file project file and one important note is this pcb design software it's a bundle of files so always start if you're starting a new project for uh, any one of the circuit want to want to be a uh, want to be fabricated always start with some new folder for example uh, i want to put every project file in 2024 and then in this i want to make a small circuit so i just open a new folder and i'm naming this as um, charger circuit so in this folder again double click that folder inside that folder you want to create your project name so like this charger circuit i you can give any name and then click on the save so after saving you can see in this project files you, you have two uh, files in it one is the name what you have given to save your project so charger underscore circuit dot uh, kicad underscore sch sch is nothing but the semantic what we are going to make for our circuit and then charger underscore circuit dot uh, kicad underscore pcb this is actual pcb design we are making for our circuit always we need to start with this uh, kicad semantic so just double click this and it will bring you to another app inside this uh, KiCad software itself where we can do our semantic for our circuit and then if you are double clicking on this PCB you will get the PCB app for uh, our circuit from this KiCad itself so this is the PCB software it's a part of KiCad software itself so there are two important software inside this uh, KiCad software one is uh, the semantic and one more is the PCB now we have installed uh, the KiCad in our system in next video we will see a simple circuit how to make a simple circuit using the KiCad software okay thank you thank you for watching this video Thank you.